Hello everyone and welcome to day 13 of Vlogmas. I am starting with the Nightmare Before Christmas calendar because we are now over half on this guy. Of these Funko, we are only missing Sandy Claus, or Santa, whichever you want to call him. Um, I will say that because my ink vent calendar has 25 inks, I will have, um, well, <laughs> will have uh, be post willing and if it actually arrives, <laughs> I ordered it, so that should, that, that should mean something at least. Um, anyway. <laughs> I should have another Nightmare Before Christmas thing to open up on the 25th. So, whilst we are over half on this Funko calendar, we aren't over half. Well, I, I suppose we sort of are. Um, but yeah, there will be another unrelated to this calendar thing on Christmas. Yes, that took me forever to get to that. Let's hope opening... <laughs> Day 13 will go a lot faster. Oh, oh well. I wonder who we are getting. I can see some... Uh, it looks like another Jack Skellington. Surely not. I must be missing. Ah, no. No, I got that right. It is Snowman Jack. So this is the fourth um, Jack Skellington we've had so far. And uh, I will insert a picture here of all the ones so you can see. And yeah, he's cute, he's fun. He's very wintry, I would say, because he's a snowman. So yeah, let's see which ink we got. Ruby Blues, and it is a sheen ink. I've not had an ink that is just a sheen ever, I don't think. I might actually do and just not use it very often and therefore don't remember. But um, I am mildly excited for something else than shimmers and shimmers and sheens and standard inks. So uh, let's start by swatching a Ruby Blues. Dang, this won't open. Success. It seems to have a red sheen. I was thinking, oh, well, maybe I can use this for um, a painting I want to do in school. And now I'm just like, mm. red sheen. Can't use that in a monochrome blue thing. So... Straight out of luck with that one. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to swatch it straight up undiluted. It's actually a really, really nice blue. I'm going to lay it on thick to get that sheen out. I'm just gonna put a little bit on, go in with water. See what it looks like if it's diluted. And uh, I have a candy cane ornament for today. That is a potentially a bad choice for a sheen ink, but I'm just gonna go in with slightly diluted and then uh, glob on some undiluted right at the bottom and just let it fade into each other and <laughs> hope for the best and I really should rinse my brushes more gentle rather than make a lot of noise. But but yeah, um, we'll see how it dries and uh, I'll go in with some paint pen to um, bring the stripes back out and see what happens. But yeah, wait and see.
So yeah, Snowman Jack and Ruby Blues. I'm not mad at him. He's um, he's iconic from uh, the What's This song. What's this? What's this? There's something very wrong. What's this? There's people singing songs. What's this? The streets are lined with little creatures laughing. Everybody seems so happy. Have I possibly gone daffy? What is this? What's this? He's very festive. This snowman form, very wintry. Definitely suitable for spookmas and winter scenery and flat lays and whatnot. And then Ruby Blues. Um, if you're into sheens, is it like super original? No. Is it a bit of fun? Sure. Um, it goes very blue to burgundy duochrome. So there's that when you write with it. Um, as a painting ink. Gotta be careful because Red Robin is still a bit wet. Um, but yeah, as a painting ink, you can see if you undilute it, you can get the shimmer, uh, sorry, the sheen, not shimmer. You can get the sheen out, but it's not super reliable. If you dilute it, you get this very bright blue, almost steel actually. If you dilute it really, really badly, you get a more aqua teal color. Um, yeah. Um, this is more a writing ink than it is a painting ink because it's not reliable for painting. As you can see in the candy cane, I had to really go in to get just, you can see it in the borders, just a little bit of a burgundy sheen out. And I did initially get it, as you saw in the pictures, before I went in with a, uh, a Durant paint pen. But once I went in with the paint pen, I pretty much lost most of the gradient and most of the sheen. So there's that. Totally unreliable for painting, which makes it quite unreliable for me. But sometimes I do write with blue ink, so I will keep it for that reason. Um, yeah, or when I'm doing like an experimental painting piece in school or something, I'm, I'm sure some of my classmates might want to play with it. I'll have to check with them. But yeah, um, it's kind of a mess for me, to be honest. It's it's not a bad ink for writing. It's definitely a very good writing ink if you like sheen. But otherwise, eh? So yeah, that was what I have to say about the advent calendar loot for day 13. Um, was all right. Wasn't the best day I've had, but definitely not the worst. So yeah, uh, let me know in the comments down below. What did, did you think of today's things? Um, or just leave a comment on the video. If you do leave a comment, please be kind. Uh, subscribe if you enjoy the series or want to see more of it. Um, YouTube may actually notify subscribers of uh, new videos. It's YouTube and you never know with the algorithm, but eh, worth a try. Anyway, if you want to stick around, I would appreciate it. And I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 14. Bye-bye!